Hello beautiful creative people. This is Kyla Givehand of Giving Hands Creative and I'm coming to you today Thursday August 29th uh, for Book in a Day 35. Ah exciting. I don't know why 35 is a big number for me. Um, for the Book in a Day series it's not the halfway point. It's not I don't know but for some reason 35 feels significant. So I'm just gonna go with that feeling. Uh, it's almost 2.15 in the afternoon on Thursday, August 29th, and I woke up this morning determined to make a book out of a paper bag, like a grocery store bag, and I don't know why this was such a big deal um, for me today, but I basically, most of the morning, <laughs> I've been trying to figure out how to make this book uh, out of a bag, so I'm going to just show you how many versions of this I went through. So I have lots of paper that I will be using as scrap paper because I have so many failed attempts. Um, so this one was not too bad but I couldn't really make it function the way I wanted it to function. I might come back to this actually at another time. I might not use it just yet for scrap paper. Then I had this failed attempt. Um, because I cut something wrong, I ended up having to put a piece of tape, and oh, it just got kind of crazy. So th this will be definitely pieces used for scrap paper. Um, then I had this one, and I don't really know what I was doing with this one. It's just cut a bunch of different ways, and I think I was trying to fold and fold and fold again and fold again. <laughs> I don't really know. I was kind of all over the place, so that one didn't work. Um, and then we have the ones that, you know, ended up, I ended up cutting something wrong and a piece fell off or, you know, so there are lots of failed attempts today and so lots of scrap paper that I will be using as I go through this project because I have so many that I didn't get quite right. So, but the one that I have gotten to a good place, a place where I feel that I could kind of work with, I can work with this I think, um, is this one. So there were certain things that I wanted to keep in place. I wanted it to be the whole bag, nothing cut off, nothing glued, nothing um, taped on to keep it together. So, And I wanted the handles to stay so that it could be sort of like a, a book that's being carried. Well. With all that said, I do have that. It's a book that opens, full page spread, opens full page spread, and then technically it goes on to close. However, I started looking at that and thinking, well, there's so much bag on the inside not being used, how can I get to some of that? So I flipped this back, I made a slit here to open that up and give me this sort of flip out. Well, when I did that, this piece at the bottom, this piece, is just sort of hanging there by itself, not really sure what it's doing. So what that created was when you pick the book up, this piece just flails about. So I'm determined not to cut it off and not to glue it on or glue it down, so I'm just going to have to figure out something for this. I don't know. So this is the back of the book technically right now. I may wrap it around and have it be a part of the front of the book and maybe do something to indicate that it's a flap that opens but then also have a way for it to stay shut. I don't know yet. I don't know. Okay, so I hope you'll stick around and watch me make something out of this paper bag. My goal is to Put a bunch of gesso, mixed media techniques all over it, collage, and then bring some words and content in. I'm thinking about the idea of recycling and I don't know. So we'll see what the content ends up being. But for now, I'm just going to start with getting some paint, gesso, collage, and going for it. And I hope you'll stick around and see what comes of it. I will see you back here on the other side.
Okay, so quick pause to just do time check, see how long it took me to do that. Uh, 2.48 in the afternoon still. Um, so yeah, 30 minutes roughly, give or take. So all the surfaces are gessoed at this point. And yeah, in, in doing this little part, I've already realized that um, this section, when I open this, I'm gonna have to do some, uh, probably cut, cut this using one of my decorative scissors or something so that they're not bumping up against each other each time I go to open this flap. Um, so yeah, all the surfaces are nice and gesso-y. Um, the next step is just to work some mixed media magic on all these pages and see what comes of it. And I think I will start with this, this spread. So I'm going to start working on this and I'm literally just going to go through and do all the pages. Um, just get some mixed media backgrounds on them and then I'll come back do some journaling, some stamping, all, all the stuff we do when we use mixed media. So that is my plan. Keep watching. So one other thing I wanted to say is I'm going to be using, um, I think like most people who do art journaling and mixed media, I have a ba box full of uh, just all sorts of stuff, papers, you know, strips from projects, uh, paper, tissue paper, deli uh, jelly plate print pieces, um, all sorts of stuff in this little <laughs> stash box. Um, that I will be trying to bring in and use as a part of uh, this this particular project. So I just wanted to show you I'm going to be pulling from it. It's going to be sitting on the side so you won't see, but I wanted you to know where I was pulling stuff from. Um, just this huge stash of papers uh, and you know things that I've discarded from other projects, bits and pieces. So that is my goal: is to use all of that stuff in some of this in this spread or in this. Um, in book 35. Okay, so let's keep moving.
start. Um, this is the general direction in which I'm going to go for all of the pages. Um, different colors probably are. Try to stay within the same color family. I am going to do some stamping. I haven't done that part yet, but I need to, uh, let's see, do a time check. It is... 311 so I've been working for about an hour or so um, and within that hour I've been able to gesso all the pages and get one spread uh, it's not done but it's it's in a good place um, I need to stop here though and uh, run an errand I have uh, my nephew has some glasses that he needs to get and I'm gonna go run and do that with him and then I will be back to finish up so I'll be working on the content while I'm gone though um, so we'll see. I think my mind right now is telling me to put something on this page. <laughs> so I'm actually going to put a little paint on this and then I'm going to go run my errand. Okay, see you back here in a moment. Okay, so I am back from running all my errands. And of course, it took me a longer to do what I went to do than I thought it would. So just doing a quick time check. 7.30 and I'm just going to jump right back in to where, where I left off. See you on the other side.
hello hello beautiful people so book 35 is done and it's 308 in the morning and for some reason I'm wide awake super wired um, but I'm calling it done because I need to go to bed I could keep going on this book there's so many other things I could do to it and want to do to it in terms of the sort of mixed media portion of it but I'm going to Cut it off, stop, and be done. So I'm calling it, it's in the bag, um, for obvious reasons. And it came out um, pretty pretty good. I'm actually, see if I can go out, I can't. Okay, so the book is done. It does exactly what I wanted it to do. Um, there are some elements, again, I could keep going, so I'm, I'm just, I'm going to show you the book, tell you that I, I, I'm I happy with where it is. I could go further in terms of the journaling part of it, but it's basically a grocery list inside of an art journal. Um, and I really actually liked working on this paper. This is some interesting um, paper. It, it actually holds up a lot better than I thought it would. I was afraid to put water on it and to do too much to it, but... I experimented and it came out just fine. So this is some interesting paper to use. I might actually do some other things with um, grocery ba bag paper at some point in the next, I don't know, what do we have, about 18 books left to go, something around there. Um, yeah, so the book is done. It has all the different things that we typically buy when we go to the grocery store because we pretty much, we're kind of simple in our eating and we always buy the same things. We have these things that we constantly buy over and over. So that's basically what this is, sort of like our grocery list that always um, is accurate, I suppose. And then I did some journaling on this little fold-out page just about food in general and my relationship to food and how it's changed over the years and how at one point it was food was about comfort, it was a comfort thing and how um, I had to retrain myself to have a healthier relationship with food um, and just what that's been like. So it's kind of a condensed version of that. And then this page flips out which it's a little difficult to see because of it. So I wasn't able to get everything on a, on camera as I was um, doing it. It just it just became too cumbersome. I had I have so much stuff on this desk right now. It's actually kind of insane. Um, this back piece is a little poem that I wrote and did some journaling to go with it. So yeah, the book the book is done. Book thirty five. It's in the bag. Um, I like the way it came out. It's it's a pretty interesting little uh, little book project something really cool to do with kids also because it's so super easy um, to work on so this is book 35 again thank you for watching this is book 35 of the book in the day series and I am Kyla Givehan of Giving Hands Creative go out and create something beautiful this week see you next week